It's inevitable that after the meal and everything's packed away, these disposable containers are filled with food, hopefully for your family too. And what happens is there's oftentimes several containers are left over and they just clutter the cabinet. So rather than uh, have that happen, why not turn it into something useful? So today I'm going to take this Rubbermaid uh, container. I have plant food, a whole saw, net cups, and we're going to turn it into a passive hydroponic container, also known as the uh, crack key hydroponic method, and grow a couple heads of lettuce and hopefully those will be ready for us by the time the Christmas holiday comes close. Fortunately, for two heads of lettuce, I'd like to have these approximately equally spaced on the container. And this particular Rubbermaid lid has a couple small uh, manufacturing dots on them. And that's actually the spacing that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna use those for my drilling points. Normally I would take these lids off and drill them separate, but uh, since this lid is flimsy, I'm gonna leave it snapped on the container while I drill. I'm gonna start out by putting the drill tip on the uh, small dot. And with the drill in forward motion, begin to drill. And since the material is so thin, I'm going to start out with the drill in reverse motion. It should give me a cleaner cut. You can see there's a nice clean hole. The uh, plastic piece that uh, stays on can be just pulled off, and we're ready for the next hole. Now that I have the two holes drilled in the lid, Using the uh, two inch hole saw, you can see that these two inch net pots that I got from amazon.com uh, drop right into these holes. And I'll pop the lid off to show you what it looks like on the bottom. They actually uh, stick down just a little bit. And what we're gonna end up doing is uh, filling up this container with just standard tap water. Don't need to uh, measure uh, pH or uh, PPM or EC. We're going to make this as simple as possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill the water in here until it comes up to about a quarter inch or uh, probably around three eighths inches. And what I'm going to do on the inside of this is just take a piece or a chunk of rock wool and put one in each of the two net cups along with a lettuce seed. And there's going to be enough water that wicks up through that material to, for the uh, seed to germinate. And the roots will actually grow out of the slots in this net cup down into to this nutrient water and as the water decreases the roots will go all the way down to the bottom and drink up all that water and plant food and we'll have a head of lettuce and by the time we're ready to harvest that lettuce this container will be practically empty and we can always reboot and do it again. Now for the food I'm using something called Dynagro and this is a 795 formula. It's liquid, very easy to use, there's no need to mix. So what I'm going to put um, the fertilizer into the container with is this measuring cup. And now you can see just how easy this is all going to be. So we're going to take the uh, one and a half teaspoons of plant food. We'll pour it right into the bottom. And as mentioned, uh, the Rubbermaid container holds 1.1 gallons. So I have a gallon of water and this is straight out of a city tap water. As I pour the water in, it hits the liquid plant food and churns it and mixes it up. So there's no need to uh, shake it or stir it around. And as it gets closer to the top, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to put the uh, lid back on and I'll show you a secret on how to get the uh, water to the correct height. We'll take out one of the net cups. We'll push the other one down. And in the hole that I took the net cup out of, I'm going to continue to add water while watching inside the net cup and I'll be able to see when the water comes up over the bottom. The last thing that you want to make sure is that you have light for the uh, lettuce to grow and we don't have to worry so much about the uh, algae buildup on the clear sides because with the directional light coming down from the LED and the short period of grow it uh, really doesn't give algae much of a chance to grow and we should have lettuce and next thing I'll be doing is planting the two sites.